Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, I want to do another update of day 128 in the ongoing war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine. Uh, so, I, obviously, it's a uh, July 1st, or still July 1st, uh, here in the states, and uh, I uh, I felt like I needed to do a update on uh, the uh, the battlefield situation specifically uh, that is uh, ongoing around uh, the uh, the uh, Ukrainian uh, town of uh, Lysychansk. And uh, over the uh, the last uh, several hours, uh, we have seen some fairly significant developments uh, take place that I felt, uh, again, needed to be talked about. So I have uh, gone back to uh, June uh, 30th, and you'll and you'll see some a couple of different things here on the map. You can you can still see that uh, the oil uh, uh, depot. Uh, to the southwest of Lysychansk uh, is still uh, under the nominal control of uh, Ukrainian forces and, and Russian forces were just starting to enter the facility. And you also know, you also see that uh, the uh, main effort in which we have seen Russian forces cross the Donetsk River, uh, that is uh, this uh, terrain feature here. You can kind of, if we zoom in, you can kind of clearly see uh, it separates Lysychansk from the uh, the Severodonetsk side of uh, uh, the uh, Donetsk River. So Severodonetsk, Lysychansk, Donetsk River that runs up and around. Now over the last several hours, uh, the Russians appear to have made a successful river crossing to the northwest of Lysychansk. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit here where you, the viewer, can actually see uh, what is happening uh, in fairly a re real time. So we can see the Russians moving in, seizing control of the petroleum facility, the fuel depot, and then look up here to the northwest quadrant. And the Russians have effectively now crossed the Donetsk River. So that is going to be incredibly significant for those Ukrainian forces that are still operating in this pocket. Now we still estimate anywhere between three uh, and five Ukrainian brigades operating to the south, central, northwest, and west of uh, Lysychansk. And now with the additional crossing of Russian forces to the northwest of Lysychansk and still uh, moving forward to the south and now uh, to the rear of Lysychansk as well. Uh, this is going to be a very precarious situation for Ukrainian forces. Uh, we suspect that the Russians could uh, rapidly move south and uh, meet, eventually meet up with uh, the Russian forces in the southern uh, sector of the Lysychansk area of uh, operation. So let me just kind of back up here and where you, the viewer, can kind of see what's happened over the last few days. So uh, key things to note, the, uh, the, the fuel depot, the petroleum depot, the main uh, north-south arterial route to supply Ukrainian forces. Obviously, the Ukrainians could also supply up here, but just a little bit more difficult. Uh, at the same time, we do know uh, the Russians probably have uh, huge amounts of calls for fire uh, and tactical air assets that can strike these areas as well. But then we'll we'll kind of move forward here where you can kind of see exactly uh, what we're talking about again. And there it is. So I uh, just wanted to do a update on kind of what we were seeing. Uh, we're continuing to see that drive around Lysychansk or towards uh, Lysychansk uh, from really uh, three different areas right now, directly to the front, uh, south, southeast, northwest, and now quite possibly from the uh, rear as, uh, as well. But uh, that's what we have uh, in this update. Again, we're paying very close to attention uh, to what is happening and felt uh, that uh, these moves uh, by Russian forces or these gains by Russian forces uh, were, were worth uh, the, uh, the additional uh, discussion uh, and an additional uh, video for today. Again, thanks for joining us. More to come.